Hi, it's done for another math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss just a quick video on a comparison between uh, Microsoft SkyDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox. I just thought I uh, thought I'd make this video because I recently uh, got SkyDrive and was wondering what, what basically what's the difference between between Drive and Dropbox and which one you should get if you're thinking about getting a cloud uh, cloud service, which I strongly suggest you get uh, any one of these. Basically, the pricing and storage of each one, SkyDrive, you get a free seven gigs, and then Drive, you get a free fifteen gigs. But this also includes your Gmail. And your Google Plus Photos, but uh, but basically, if you uh, I have a note here, the Google Photos they only count if you have them this big, 2048 by 2048 pixels, and videos longer than 15 minutes count towards storage limit. Otherwise, you'll have unlimited photos, which is pretty amazing. And then uh, Dropbox, you start off with two gigs uh, free, but then you can get extra storage by referring friends, uh, registering through your school, etc. So other ways, but still, start off with uh, a lot less than these. So the pricing for SkyDrive is for 50 gigs, you can get $25 a year. The other ones don't offer 50, they offer only 100, so you, get a, you can go with 100 gigabyte, and this is $50 a year, Drive is $5 a month, so this goes up to 100 and, yeah, 110 per year, and then this one is going to be 100 uh, for $10 a month. Or 99 per year. That's if you pay for the year. Otherwise, this is going to be up up to 120 per year. So this one is a lot more expensive than these right here. And then the same with the 200. You go with 100 per year, or you can go with uh, Drive, which is 200, but this is 10 dollars a month or 120 dollars. So it's, it's more expensive than the Drive than the Sky Drive. And then this one is 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 pretty much double these pricing. And then uh, SkyDrive, the uh, so initially you can't get any higher than this unless I think you can get a business one. I'm not sure if you can. I, I couldn't find it. But basically, you see, this is the highest you can go. But if you want to go higher with these, you can go higher with uh, Google. Uh, you can go 400 gigabytes for $20 a month, or you can go. Actually, I think this is a mistake. This is nine in there. Yeah, so then you can go up to 16 terabytes, which is $400 a month, which is ridiculous. Uh, and then the Google, uh, I mean, then the Dropbox can go 500 for pretty much same price as this one terabyte one for for uh, SkyDrive. But then if you go to the business one, you can get unlimited space, and this is $15 per month per user, which minimum of five users. Yeah, which basically would come up to $75 a month for basically unlimited sp space, which is pretty good. And also note you can get free storage through random promotions like buying their phones, referring friends, etc. And I think if you get the Surface Pro 2, you should get a 200 gigs for two years on SkyDrive. Well, anyways, the key features of these, I'll go over SkyDrive. You have free online access to Microsoft Office, which is pretty amazing. You don't need to download it. You can edit Microsoft Office stuff uh, using their online version. Yeah, basically, for example, if I were to drag this in here, yeah, so this is SkyDrive right here. Open. This is the, the same file I'm working with, and you click it. Basically, it opens up in their Microsoft Word app, and you can actually edit this online, edit in this Word app, which is pretty good here. So you don't need to use, you don't even need to buy Microsoft Office, and then you could edit it in their Microsoft version. I mean, basically, online editing like this. But uh, but the formatting will be a bit off. But it's uh, but then once you save it to Word, it's, it should be uh, pretty much the same. And also, this is great with Microsoft OneNote. See my earlier video on this, and also using Surface Pro, which is pretty amazing. You could use this to replace all physical notes you ever take. And also, you could share files through a link and shared file. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, so I'll go back to this. So you can just go here. You can actually just close this. You can either go right click or click on the share up top. And you can share this. So right now you can create multiple links. Actually, I'll, I'll remove these ones. I go to this one. I could remove this, and then so you basically you could uh, you could remove links. You could add them. So you can make it view only, create, and there you go. You can have it. Sh then you could also shorten the link, and then you could send this to anyone. So I had this one as a view only. You can make another link that people can edit. You could also make it public, but public is only view. They can't edit. And then you can so create this one so you can have multiple links right here. So th this one right here, uh, this should be the same one that is on. So this one, this is the view one only. 
Yeah, this one is supposed to be the the one that I have actually in the Word file, but then since I removed it, it's a different one now. So if I go back to this, yeah, so over here, this is, this is basically the link I use right now. I use SkyDrive, so you can uh, press Enter right here. Oops. Yeah, just press this. To the, yeah, so basically I'm using that same link, and you can click it, and then you'll open a new one. So if I drag in, let's just say... Uh, uh, just another browser right here. I'm using this is Google Chrome. So if I type this one out, this is the view only. So as, as you can see, then you could share this in its view only, and then you guys can view it, etc. This was actually a previous version. I haven't saved uh, saved it yet. And now if I go to the edit one, so I copy this one, go back to this. I'll just overlay it. So this one you can download it over here, but you can't edit it. So if I click this over here. This should have an edit one, yeah. Let me just, um, yeah. And basically, uh, then if I gave you you guys this link, you guys can all edit it, or whoever has the link can just go and edit this in real time. Uh, basically, whatever I I had, but I haven't saved it yet. So this is the old version. As you can see, Matthew, and it tells you who's editing as well. So I'm currently editing. That's me right here, which is pretty amazing. You don't even need to sign in, and it will show you. So go back to this features, basically, and also this thing. Shared links are not lost when you change the file name or directory this is important so if I go to so if I go into my uh, this is my PC so I have it saved here on SkyDrive if I change the name etc changed the link is still gonna be but actually I have it open right now but uh, but you get the idea so you change the name it's not gonna change the link so that will still work regardless and then you can also make it editable which I just showed and also you can make multiple types, there's built in short and link ability, that's pretty cool. And you can also share GIF animations, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so what I mean by that is if I go to this uh, this testing one here, this is a GIF, I just click this for testing. So if you, if you click it, it actually runs in real time, and then you can, as you can see, this is some random GIF I made a while ago, my brother's playing basketball. And then you could actually do the same thing, so you could share it, you could even share the folder and it has everything inside. And and you can just publish to Facebook or whatnot. So you could, this is the cool thing, so you could share a link, and then it will they just send them and you'll get this exact thing of, of the GIF running. And here's the last part, you can make it public but not editable, ed editable, but Google Drive you can. So basically Google Drive, it's similar, but then you have access to Google Docs. And you, the only downside is you need to convert to Google Docs, edit Microsoft Office documents. And also you can do simultaneous editing. So basically you can do real-time editing of like many people at once, which is really useful when you're working on a project. As for example, if I go in here, there's my Google Drive of testing one. So the GIF testing, this would run as well, but uh, just believe me, it does. So basically if I go in here, if I want to open this, click here yeah, so you, you can only view it because it's an office document but then if you want to edit it you have to basically uh, I think you gotta convert it to a document I mean a Google Docs so you gotta go open with Google Docs and then basically it's exporting to it and the formatting is gonna be is gonna be a bit off so the, the formatting is gonna be different but then you can edit this and it also will show you who is editing at the same time so, so etc so you could work around here so if you have multiple people with the same link they can all v all view the exact same thing you can even see where your cruiser is so you'll be able to see who's even highlighting etc which is pretty amazing and also another feature of google drive unlimited videos and photos and again that asterisk uh, basically only when they're less than this size which is already pretty big and less than 15 minutes so which is pretty uh pretty big anyways and also you could share files through a link and the same thing if you change the file name it won't change and you could make it editable uh, editable th in a browser I'll delete this part it's not an office word other one you can edit an office word if you sign in and also there's multiple you yeah, actually made a mistake here yeah, you can't have multiple types of links so uh, you can but uh, like uh, but you can't have different links for the same one you could only have one link and it could be different what I mean by that is if I, and also I'll, I'll remove this shortened link this is only for the above one I mean for SkyDress yes yeah, so if I go back to here so what I mean by that if you go share on this folder just a word doc you can b basically go, go to share so right now you can see who has access public on it on the web anyone can view and I'm the owner that's me I can basically edit and you can change anyone with a link and you can go basically either public, anyone in public can comment, can edit, or anyone or share it privately. Uh, and you could email the perp, the people, or you just go anyone with the link, etc. If you click the save, 
Yeah, so you can't have multiple uh, different links. You can only have one link at, at a time. That uh, That's the downside of this one. But it's still pretty good. And also, uh, like this, you could share GIF animations and you can make it public and edit a bowl. So I can make basically everyone can see it. They can search it online without having the link and they can edit it, etc. So now to Dropbox key features, basically it's more popular. A lot of uh, friends I have use it instead. I think it's because, yeah, they started off with the idea. That's why they're uh, more popular. Basically, it also has auto upload camera photos from most phones. My Galaxy S4, I don't know why it doesn't have SkyDrive or... Uh, Google Drive uploads, so well, at least I can find it. But anyways, um, also you can share file through a link. It's very fast link creation. Yeah, for example, if I were to drag this in here, so this is the Dropbox on my computer. All I do is right click, share Dropbox link, and there you go, it's copied on my Dropbox link. I, I can go paste it right here, etc. So there you go, there's the, that exact link that it was shared. So it's really quick. But then uh, the downside is links are lost when you change file name or directory. I'll show you what I mean. Yes, if I go here and I copy and paste this, so this is the exact one uh, that I just shared. But again, you can't edit it. This is just a view like this. You have to download it to view it properly. But you can't edit this online. It's a downside of it. And so basically, uh, people can only edit when they're invited to the folder. So you can't edit it because uh, I, I, I can't make you be able to edit unless I personally invite you to the folder and also you can share GIF animations that run when shared and this is it used to not be able to which is uh, it got it's basically the technology is getting better on Dropbox and you can't make it public so you will have to give people a link they can't just search it online yeah so I'll, I'll go back to this uh, what happens if the, if the links are changed yeah, so here I'm back to this one let's just change this name to change and let's see what happens uh, I'll, I'll just right click this and get the at the link as well share link so it's going to create a new link so I go I go here I just click refresh and there as you can see there's nothing there so the link got lost so I'll have to go download this so one I have to make a new link and it's different than the old one so this one's going to be a bit different uh, I think this random number generated is different than this one yeah so it is clearly clearly different anyways yeah, so Dropbox has, it's missing some of the features that other places have. And now finally to my recommendations, I use all three, but I prefer SkyDrive and I think I'm going to probably buy uh, their yearly plan because it's cheaper and I need to use the Microsoft Office com compatibility, especially Microsoft OneNote, see a video link below on that. And Google Drive is actually, yeah, it's also great for online calibration. Uh, Calibration. I mean collaboration. I, I don't know why it's spelled that uh, completely wrong, but it, yeah, it's really good. I use it for projects or for just random stuff I want to work with uh, friends, etc., et online. Yeah, so I, I use that as well, especially because I have Gmail and other stuff on it, so I already have it. And also, I use Dropbox. As many people I know still use it. I, I use it, yeah, because I used it a lot before, and everyone had Dropbox. And also, it, it will eventually have the technological abilities as Microsoft and Google. Yeah, and here it's uh, also having it, you get extra space as well. So yeah, so I have all three, but I, I like SkyDrive the best. And basically in this order, SkyDrive, then Google Drive, and Dropbox. Anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this, you can download these notes uh, through this, uh, basically through this SkyDrive link. It's also in the video description below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.